Hello, good evening, Kang. Hi, good evening, too. How are you today? Um, I'm fine, thanks. Okay, so we're going to continue our lesson, right? But before yes. we're going to continue that, let's answer first your homework, okay? So yeah. I already read your homework, and I would like to say that, of course, you got a very good score because you got a perfect score for this, okay? So congratulations for that, Kang. Now, tell me, okay, uh, tell me why is it you use the is and the are? How are we going to use the is and the are? And when are we going to use that? Oh, yeah. Would you kindly tell me? Kindly tell me the reason when are we going to use the is when are we going to use the R? Uh, the reason where we go with the is is um, we we use is with the thing have the the one one things. Yes. Uh, and and uh, we uh, use R. Um, and uh, we use R for the... Um, if we're talking about... Uh, it's talking about through, through one or uh, two or more uh, things, yeah. right? Okay, so that's good, okay? Just like, for example, when we say there blank a pencil on the table. So yes. we're talking about what is the subject that we're talking about in here? We're talking about... A pencil. Yes. So if we're talking about pencils, we're talking only of one pencil. So therefore, we have to use the is. Okay. Okay. Why is it only one? Because we don't have an S in here. Okay. Yes. And one of the reason, uh -huh. one of the reason why is it we use is in here because of the article a ah. okay a ah, pencil because if we are using a plural noun in here we do not use the a ah in here so we are going to say there are pencils on the table if there is an s in here if we're talking about plural but since we're talking only of one pencil, so therefore this one is is, right? Yes. Okay, so you were able to answer. Your answers actually are all correct because I already checked that one, okay? And congratulations for that. So I guess you do understood already our lesson about the use of the present simple tense when it comes to the positive, okay? Yes. Positive to be. So what? Uh, what is the structure? It's subject yes. plus am um, plus um, is, is, is plus are plus a predicate. predicate. Okay, so do you have any questions for this before moving on? Uh, no. No questions at all. Okay, so let's move on to our next lesson okay so this time we are going to talk about the negative okay the negative thing yeah. okay if we have the positive we have also the negative okay so what are we going to do with that so we have to use the structure same structure but we just have to add not yeah. okay plus a predicate so again, same structure, subject. If our subject is I, following after the I would be um, and then just put na, no. okay? And yes. then if he, she, it, it, it should be is not. is not. But of course, if we are going to use that in a sentence, yeah. we usually use the contracted form. Okay. So when we say contracted form, it's the short form for is not. 
Okay? So yeah. what happened? It becomes... Isn't. Isn't. Okay? So what do we omitted? We omitted the O and then we just put apostrophe. So that becomes isn't. Okay? Yeah. Now, if you're talking about the subjects you, we, they, following after that would be are plus not. Gosh. Okay, sorry. So this one is not isn't. This is aren't. Aren't. Yes. Okay? So the short form for are not is aren't. Aren't. Okay? Okay, let's try to um, examine the examples in here. Can you read sentence number one, please? Uh, yes, I am not a student. Yes, okay. So same structure, we use the subject I. Following after the I would be um, you just have to put only not and then the predicate of the sentence. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay, or we can also contract this one. We can say, I'm not a student, right? Yeah. Okay. Then the second sentence. Second sentence, you aren't my student. Yes. So you aren't my student. So why is it aren't? Uh, because it's the short form of are not. And the subject is? Is you. Very good. Okay. So the subject is you. So therefore, following after the you would be are not. And the short form or the contracted form is are. Um, okay. Very good. Next. Number three. Number three. He isn't my English teacher. Yes. Yeah, so he isn't my English teacher. So why do we use isn't? Uh, because uh, the subject is he. Very and good. We close the notch and we have is not and the isn't is the charge from okay. the is not. Very good. Okay. Okay. Now let's try to answer this one. What do you think would be the correct answer for this? Um, it think... isn't, aren't, I'm not my favorite pen. Um, I think... It uh, isn't my isn't. favorite pen. Yes. Why is it isn't? Because uh, our subject is? It. It. Very good. So I have to mark this one as red or green because this one is the correct answer. Okay. What about number five? Number five, the orange from our sections. Yes. So what's, what would be the correct um uh, B verb that we are going to use, it's are not, right? And the short form for that is aren't. So they aren't from other sections. Okay, so aren't is the correct answer. So I have to mark that one as green. Okay, what if we're going to say Maria and Anna? Okay, um, are uh, Maria and Anna blank friends? Uh, so what are, do you think would be, okay, are. aren't, okay? So yes. the contracted form is aren't, of course, if we are talking about negative. But if they are friends, so you should have to use Maria and Anna are friends. But if they are not friends, so that's correct. So Maria and Anna aren't friends. So why is it aren't? Uh, because, because the, the Anna and, and uh, Maria and Maria are the plural. Okay, are plural subjects. So they are the subjects, and Anna and Maria is more than one person. So therefore, we have to use are. Okay, um, negative aren't or are not okay very good now it's time for you to make a sentence can you type your sentence on the chat uh, using yeah? yes using the negative 
apart, okay? Using the to be verb. Can you type your answer in the chat? So I sent my my example. We aren't home early tonight. Which we am um, about the uh, second uh, sentence. Sec okay, yeah. so you are going to make five sentences, right? Then I'm going to copy that one to the presentation. Okay, you can also use subject I. You can also use subjects he, she, it, or you can also use the subjects uh, you, we, and they. Yes. Or of course, you can also mention a name. Okay, again, remember in making a sentence, you have to begin your sentence with the capital letter and end your sentence with a punctuation mark.
Okay, I'm finished. Yeah, okay. Let me read this one. So, I am not a girl. Okay, that's correct. Mike isn't my best friend. Okay, that's correct. My best friend is Tony. Okay, my birthday isn't on January. My English book isn't on the bed. Okay, now let's try to analyze your sentence. Okay, number one is correct. You're able to start your sentence with the capital letter I and ends your sentence with a period, right? Okay, second sentence. Mike isn't my best friend. So what do you think would be lacking in here? Okay, the sentence is correct, but there was lacking in it. What do you think is that? Punctuation mark. Okay, so where is the period in there? Mike isn't my best friend. Okay, so it's very important to put the uh, punctuation mark. So what punctuation mark you're going to put in there? It's a period, right? Because yeah. you are not asking questions. So you are just telling something. Okay. So therefore, yeah. it's a period. Then sentence number three. My best friend is Tony. Okay. Oh, it's wrong. Uh, it's hard to. Uh, yeah. To can, can you. Can you. Um, what is one? Can you edit? Can you edit that? Make them correct. Can you yes. do that? Uh, you can yeah. uh, actually you can edit that one so click the edit and then edit that so you have to correct them yeah yes okay number two you have to put a period number three you have to capitalize the m because my best friend is oh so are you trying to say that um your best friend is not tony so it's isn't tony Yes. Okay. And then number four, don't forget to put a punctuation mark also. Number five is very good. That's correct. So no need to edit number five. Just edit two, three, and four. Uh, can you say uh, it again? Okay, two. You have to put punctuation mark. What's Three. Punctuation? It's a period, right? It's a dot. You know what's a period? This one. Yes. Yes, okay? Yeah. Okay, so you have to remember that all the time. Yes. Because um, one of these days, are you planning to take IELTS? So you are in what level now? You are in grade? I'm in grade uh, six, and in this year I go to grade seven. Grade seven. So you are in the, um, in the middle high school, right? Yes. Yeah. So one of these days um, you are going to move on to senior high school and maybe you can be able to, to take an IELTS one of these days. Is that your plan to take the IELTS? You know what's the IELTS? Do you have any idea about IELTS? Huh? I want to be uh, to have the IELTS. Oh really? So that's a plan. Yes, but the, I have to learn because the my level is um, uh, A two. Oh yeah. Okay. So of course that's why we are we are um. We are um, doing this one, okay? We are studying because you know what? In an IELTS, okay, it's uh, it's more, it's it's a lot of preparations to do, okay? I had one student also here in Hello English that he is learning with me an IELTS, okay? So IELTS composed of four types of tests. We have the speaking, we have the writing, we have the um what is this one 
speaking, writing, um, listening, and reading. Yes, very good. See? So, of course, in writing, there are also like this. So, sometimes you have to make sentences, right? Okay, so therefore, we have to do this one correctly so that in preparation for your IELTS, okay? So, number one is correct. Number two is also correct. Number three, you forgot to capitalize the M because my best friend isn't Tony. So your first letter of your first sentence there, my, right? So the yes. first word in there, it's my. So you need to capitalize that one. Okay? That is just the only um, correction that we should have to to make that is right very good okay yes so this one is perfect so don't forget when you are make, making a sentence it yes. should start with a capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark so when i say punctuation mark it's a period it's a question mark or maybe a what do we call that one it's it's an exclamation point okay Yes. This one, period. So this one is what we called period. Yeah. Okay. The other one is a question mark. Yes. And then we have also the so-called. Okay. Okay. Exclamation point. Okay, like that. Yes. Okay, so if you're asking question, so we have to end our sentence with a question mark. If we are just telling something, so it ends with a period. If you are showing emotion, okay, so you need to end your sentence with an exclamation point. Okay, Kang? Yes. Okay, so very good. So thank you for making your sentences okay yes. okay i have to copy this and i have to put that on our presentation yes okay just for a moment Okay, so look at your sentence now. So I am not a girl. Or you can also use like this. Huh, Kang? Okay, so you can also use like this. Yeah. It's the contracted form of... I am. So the short form for I am would be I'm. And then you just have to put not. So whether this one is also correct and the other one is also correct. So whether of the two. But usually in making a sentence, we usually use the contracted form all the time. Okay? But yes. this one is also correct. Okay? But yes. this one is more correct if you are going to use that. Okay? The yes. number two, Mike isn't my best friend. So your subject is Mike and then is not or yes. isn't. And then my best friend, again, you, you have only one best friend. So therefore, you have to use isn't. And then your birthday isn't on January. So therefore, use you have to use isn't. And then your English book. So it's isn't again because you're talking about only one book yeah. okay so do you have questions with this uh, no no question okay so your sentence is perfect so this one is correct okay yes congratulations for that now going back in here 
Now, this time, we are going to study asking question. Okay? Now, in an asking question under the present simple, what is the structure? So, we have to use the am, um, the is, the are, which is the to be verbs first, followed by a subject, pa followed by a predicate. Okay? So, that means we are going to exchange the position of the subject and the to be verb. So, what would be the first one? So, to be verb first, then after that would be the subject. Yes. To be verb first, after that would be the subject. To be verb first, after that would be the subject. Again, if we are using the am, um, am um followed I. If we are using is, that should follow he, she, it. If we're using are, subjects would be, could be you, we, or they. Okay? Example, can you read sentence number one, Kang? Um, yes. Um, okay. Am I a student? Yes. So look at this one now. We use question mark because we are asking question. Yes. Okay, so this one is a punctuation mark. And then look at my look at the sentences. It started with a capital letter. Okay. Yeah. So am I a student? So what is the to be verb we use in here? Uh, the to be verb is am. Okay, what's the subject? The subject uh, is I. Very good. Okay. And the predicate, of course, a student. So complete student, predicate. Yes. Okay? And then ends with the question mark. Question number, uh, sentence number two. Can you read this one, please? Uh, yes. Are you my student? Yes. So are you my student? Okay. So our B verb is are. And then yes, we yes. use you as yes. the subject. Right? But, of course... In asking question, there would also be, uh, be negative questions for that also. Yes. Like, for example, uh, aren't you my teacher? Okay, so usually we use also the contracted form. Again, if yes. you're talking of are, you just have to put only not and then use the contracted form. So are not... And the contracted form is aren't. Orange. Okay. And then either you, we, or they. Okay. So aren't you my teacher? Okay. Next. Question number is, four. Number four. Is he my English teacher? Yes. Is he my English teacher? Okay. So what is the B verb in here? The B verb he uh, is. Is. Okay. The subject is. He. he. Very good. Or we can also use the negative form for that. So what would be that? Isn't. Yeah. Okay. Can you read this one, please? Uh, isn't he my English teacher? Yes. Okay. Next, number six. Yes. Let's try to find what uh, would be the correct B verb in here. Actually, is. Yes. So the correct one is, is. Yes. It my favorite pen. pen. Yes. What about the number seven? Number seven. Are they from other sections? Yes. So are they from other sections? Okay. So this is how we are going to use present simple under question. Asking question. Okay. Using the to be verb. In asking question, okay? Yes. Do you have any questions with this, Kang? Uh, no. Okay, if you don't have any more question, let's proceed your sentence here again. Now, I want you to write again on the chat box your sentences, and then after that, I have to copy it here. Can yes. you do that again? Yes, okay. Yes.
Okay, just tell me if you're done, huh? Yes. Uh, okay, I'm done. Okay, let me see. Okay, let me check your answer. Yes. Okay, am I a boy? That's correct. Is he my best friend? That's correct. Are they from another school? That's correct. Are you Kevin? That's correct. Okay. Are you 12 years old? Okay. So that's correct. Okay. So these are all perfect. Okay. So I have to copy this one to our presentation. Okay. Yes. So just for a while. Okay, so this is now, or oh, these are all your sentences. Yes. Okay, Kang. So again, let's try to um, to discuss this one a little bit more. So you use the be verb am. Um. Following after the am um would be the I. Okay, you use is. So following after the is would be he. E. So we are talking about singular pronoun. That's correct. And then if we are talking about they, that means it's more than one. So you are going to use to be verb are. Okay. You use you and you have to use the are. Again, use you and you use are. Okay. So do you have questions with this, Kang? Uh, yes, I have one question. When we ask, yes. am I, is that we ask uh, myself? Come again. What did you say? Uh, when we when we ask, am I a boy? Is that we is that uh, we ask uh, myself? We ask we ask myself. You ask yeah. yourself, am I a boy? Yeah. Or uh, sometimes, okay. Yeah. Okay, because sometimes, um, if you are going to to use that, be, but of course you know already your 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 <laughs> gender that you're a boy, but you still ask that, right? Okay. Yeah. But you 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 still ask that one because sometimes um uh you you're joking with your maybe with your yeah. friend right or maybe you're joking with someone so you ask this one okay but deep in yourself you know your gender already that you're a boy okay but of course do not ask this question if you are talking about this one seriously okay <laughs> because the person will going to 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 ask you huh why is it you're asking that that you're a boy don't, don't you know your gender that you're a boy okay okay yeah. but if you are just joking you can ask this right okay do you have any questions aside from that no no more okay so let's move on now to the present continuous form of the verb again in the present continuous form of the verb, kang, we have also positive, negative, and asking question. Now, let's try to study first the positive one. Still the same. Our structure would be subject first, yes. followed by the am, um, the is, or the are, plus the ing form of the verb, or the v. In okay, plus the predicate, 
Okay? Or the object of the sentence. So when we say ing form of the verb like playing, studying, okay, acting, uh, what else? Skiing, yeah. dribbling, swimming. right? Swimming. So those are all the ing form of the verb. Okay? What we what we did is that or what we do is that we just have to put ing to our main verb like play. So the main verb is play, okay? Or we call this one as our infinitive. And then after that one, we just add ing. So the word play becomes playing, okay? The word uh, study, put ing, so becomes studying, okay? The word act, and then put ing, that becomes acting, and so on and so forth, okay? Like, for example, in this sentence, he is playing, playing okay? Yes. So what's the subject in here? Oh, the subject, he is he. he. Very good. So therefore, following after the he would be? What uh, be verb? Uh, is. Is. Very good. Because we're just talking only of one person in here, which is a boy. Okay? So he is. And then following after is would be the ing form of the verb. Sometimes there would be sometimes object of the sentence. So maybe we, if we were going to add this one, we can say he is playing volleyball. Yeah. He is playing basketball. He is playing soccer. If we want to add, okay, uh, we want to add object of the sentence. But if we uh, don't want to add, so we just have to st stop only in here, that would also be correct. Okay? Yeah. Can? Do you understand it now? Now, let's, start, let's say, for, for example, if we are going to use I as a subject, so what would be the next B verb? Or what would be the correct B verb that we are going to use? Uh, we use I am. am. Very good. So if you're using am or I, it should be am. So I am. If, we're, if our V verb is playing, so I am playing. Playing. Very good. Okay. And we yeah. can also say, okay, uh, what else? We can also say, uh, my mother is. Okay, my mother is cooking. cooking. Very good. Okay. So you can also add, my mother is cooking dinner. So you can also add that one. Okay. But if you just stop there in the word cooking, it's okay. No problem with that. Okay, Kang? Okay, yes. what about if our subjects are we, they, and you? So what would be the B verb that we are going to use? The B verb, uh, are. Are, very good. Like, for example, they are cooking, right? They are, yes. Yes, we can also say we are studying our lesson right okay or we can also say you are studying your lesson so still we use the v verb okay or the not the b verb but the ing verb okay yes. so subject plus b verb plus ing verb did you got it Yes. Okay, now I want you to make five sentences out from this one. Cam, could it be okay? Yes. Okay. So can you type that can you type that one also on the chat box? Yes.
Oh wait 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 wait. Hey. Wait wait. I forgot. Yeah, sure. I forgot the, the punctuation mark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So you can be able to identify your mistakes, okay? Yes. Okay. So you can edit that one. You yeah. can put a punctuation mark. Okay, can you um can you double check your okay? Yes. And there's another one. Look at your number three. Can you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Can you spot the uh, the mistake? So what would be the mistake in there? Sentence uh, number the three. R, we have to uh, put is. Yes. Very good because you use only one. Yes. Okay, mother. And of course, it's very understandable that you have only one mother, right? <laughs> because yes. we don't have two mothers. So we cannot we cannot say that my mothers are watching the TV, right? Okay, yes. and it's very understandable that we have only one mother. So that would be my mother is watching TV or the TV, okay? So I am playing football. That's correct. My sister is drawing. Okay. My mother is watching the TV. That's correct. My cousin is swimming in the sea. Okay. I and my friend are building sandcastle. Wow. This one is very good. Okay. So I have to copy this one. Yes. Okay. Okay, um, we have to omit that. Ah, okay, so my mother is watching TV only, okay? Yes. So I am my friend. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can we can we ex can we change can we put an S in here so that it's it could be more correct? Okay, like that. So I am playing football. My sister is drawing. My mother is watching TV. So we omitted the the. Okay. So yes. my cousin is swimming in the sea. I and my friends. Okay, can we put an S in here? Are building sand castles. Okay, since since you and your friends then are then not only one, but you can all you can also build sand castles. Okay. Wait, I I think uh, we should put the my friends uh, mm -hmm. before the I. Okay. So my friends and I, is that is that what you wanted to do? Yes, but um, I think it's uh, better. But this, one, but this one is also correct. Yes. This one is also correct. Okay, this one is correct now. Okay, but yes. um, still you can all you can you can use my friends and I are yes. building sandcastle. So you can you can also use that one. Yes. Okay. Because, wait, but, it's better. Yeah, but you can also use this. I and my friends are building sandcastles. So that would also be correct. Okay? Okay. Yes. 
But of course, we just have to put an S in here because we use R in here, okay? Yes. Okay, so do you have questions with that? Uh, no. Very good. So I hope you, you do understood already the positive one. Now, what about negative one? So the negative one is just also very easy. So what you're going yes. to do is you just have to put not again. Yes. Okay, and then you can use the contracted form. Like, for example, he isn't playing. Okay, so yes. our subject is he, and then we use is not. So the contracted form is isn't, and then playing. So the, the ing verb again, but we just use not because that's under negative. Okay. Okay, like for example, I'm going to type on the chat box. Okay, he, or we have to say they aren't. Yes. Okay, walking. So they aren't walking. Okay, so yes. my subject in here is, what's the subject? They yes. aren't walking. Uh, they. It's they. So therefore, I have to use are not. Right? So the contracted form is aren't, and I use the in verb walking. Okay? Okay, yes. one more time. Okay, one more one more sentence. Okay, uh, she isn't studying her lesson. Okay. So what's the subject in here? In this particular subject, the she subject is C. Okay, and then we use is not. Uh, is okay, not. because we're talking only of one girl. So she isn't, and then we use the, um, um, the ing verb, which is studying. And then after that would be object of um, the sentence. So her lesson, okay? Okay, now. It's time for you to do to do five sentences using this one. Can you do that? Yes. Okay, so
Okay, I'm finished. Yes. So he isn't watching TV. Very good. I am not studying maths. Very good. She isn't swimming in the sea. My sister isn't playing video games. I am not playing badminton. Okay, so these are all correct. Very good. Yes. Congratulations again for the work well done. Keep it up, huh? Yes. So I want you to remember, especially the structures, because you may use that one, okay, one of these days, especially if you're going to take up the IELTS. Yes. Yes. Because in the IELTS, uh, especially if you're going to do the, what is this one? Uh, the, um, the writing, yes. So you should use, uh, of course, the, the correct uh, grammar, especially the, the use of the, the verbs. Sometimes um, IELTS, uh, IELTS uh, students okay, are, um, um, got, got mistakes when it comes to using the correct form of the verb. Okay, especially in telling the present tense, the, the present continuous, okay, and then we have the past tense, okay, yeah. okay, and um, what do you think would be the difference between the present simple and the present continuous? What do you think would be the difference well, between the, the two? present continuous is um, this right of um, Plotting what we do now. Okay. And what would be the thing that we should have to remember when we are doing the present continuous? Of course, the verb ing verb. Okay. The verb yeah. ing. So we have to remember that one. That if the if the if the infinitive of the or the base form of the verb like play. Then yeah. added the ing, so that's under the present continuous, whether it's positive, whether it's negative, or whether it's a question mark. For as long as you have seen there, the ing form of the verb, okay? While the simple present or present simple, we just use the Subjects, I, he, she, it, you, we, they. Okay. And yeah. then after that, no, um, no uh, infinitive or we call that one as the base form. Yeah. Okay. No base form of the verb. So only the, the be verb is in there. And then the subject plus the predicate. So that's the difference between yeah. the present simple and the present the continuous. continuous. Okay. Okay, so I guess you did um, very good with your sentence now. So let's proceed to the last under the present continuous form of the verb. And it's a question. Again, in asking question under the present continuous, still the same. Okay, the structure. So you need to uh, do first the be verb, whether it's am, um, is, are. And then following after that would be the subject. Then following after that would be the uh, ing verb. Like, for example, is he playing? And then don't forget to put the ing form of or put the question mark. Okay? Uh, like, for example, okay, are they playing? Football? Okay, yes. Are they playing football? Or you can also add that. Or you can also use this one. Okay? We can okay. also say, isn't he watching TV? Right? Yes. Okay. What about this one? Can you make this a question? Um, am I uh, not studying math? Yes. Am I not studying math? But of course, you need to put a question mark in there. What about this one? Can you do this as a question? Uh, is she not swimming in sea? Okay. Isn't she swimming in the yeah. sea? Or you can also say, is, is not 
she's swimming in the sea. But of course, um, we have to use most of the time the contracted form. So isn't she swimming in the sea? What about this one? Um, isn't my sister playing video games? Very good. What about this one? Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not, am I not playing badminton? Yes. Yeah, so am I not playing badminton? Yeah. So that would be correct. Okay. Yes. So that is how we are going to yes. use this one. Okay. Now yes. for your homework. So yes. your homework, this one. For your homework. Do five sentences using the structure okay, just for a while. Structure. Um, is or us us Okay, so that would be for your homework, Kang. Okay. So do five sentences using the structure um, is R plus subject plus be verb. Okay, uh, ing form of the verb. Yes. And then it's a question. Yes. Okay. So that one. Okay, Kang? Yes. So do you have any questions for that? So we're going to... Uh, do that one on the next meeting, Kang, okay? Yes. Okay, so do you have any questions so far? No. Before we have to say goodbye? No mm -hmm. more. So what was or what were the things that we had discussed today? It's all about the structures. Yes, about uh, present continuous. And? And, uh, and then the present simple, simple, right? So the continuation yes. of the present simple, and then after that one would be the present continuous. Okay, okay. So yes. if you don't have any more questions, so thank you so much for your time. We'll yes. see you again uh, yeah. on the next meeting. You did a very good job today. Okay, yes. Kang, and yes. keep that up. Okay, bye yes. bye for now. Bye. bye. Have a good day. Have a good night too. Bye-bye, Kang. -bye. Yeah.